Hi, I'm Simon and this is a response to the dragon with the PS and his last video about GTA 5. I was just about to write a nice comment to you dragon to say everything I wanted to say. I wrote it, I edited it, I couldn't fit everything in so I thought well sod it, get the camera out and make a video response because at least then there's room to say everything that I want to say about GTA 5. So to begin with, I'm not a massive GTA fan. I've played all of them, I think. I probably haven't completed all of them. I definitely haven't completed the fourth one. I've played it quite a lot, but to be honest, I got a bit bored with it. But that's not to say that I'm not hopeful about what GTA 5 could offer. Because when you think about it, even if you're not a fan of GTA, there's always the potential when you've got a company like Rockstar, all the funding they've got behind them, and such a big IP as GTA, for them to create something great. I know there isn't really the impetus to do it, because once you've got a successful franchise of any kind, be it a film, or a, a novel, or a video game, you don't really need to put the effort in. You can just churn out the same old thing, you can flog a dead horse. But there's always hope with a video game like this, this kind of franchise, that they will not break the mould, but twist it severely and try something new. Um, and I hope they will do that with GTA 5. I really liked the trailer, although it didn't show a lot of the game itself, it just showed the world, and I think it was pretty well, um, well visualised. I could... I could see myself playing a game and being immersed in that world if, and this is a big if where GTA games are concerned, if it felt believable. Now, the GTA games, and I remember this right from the very first 3D one, GTA 3, I remember loving the idea, thinking this is a great concept, but when I actually got into the world itself, it felt so false. They'd gone beyond the limits of the hardware to create a world and what I felt and I've even with the latest GTA 4 it felt exactly the same to me that you're traveling around in a world that mostly feels hollow empty and artificial it's too large for the available technology for the available hardware that we've got uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys feel the same about it. Maybe it doesn't worry you or bother you too much. It doesn't, for you, it doesn't detract from the game. But for me, I would much rather those maps, that world, be a lot, lot smaller and be a lot more interactive. Um, so, for example, you're driving down a street, you get out of your car and you walk around. It's like, it's like hollow painted egg boxes everywhere. All of these buildings, you can't do anything with them. You know, there's the occasional shop you can interact with in a very superficial way. You know, there's a couple of items that you can buy in it, but the rest of, you know, the, rest of the world's pretty much unusable. You get in a car, you drive around, you drive... You, one of the things that really bugs me, and again, it's a limitation of the hardware, I understand why they do it, you drive up the street, you turn around, you drive back down again, you should have caught up with the cars that you passed, but by the time you get back down the street again, some of those cars, have, they've just disappeared. It forgets what's happened in the world. And this, this is something that's fundamentally wrong with the games, is that there's no real cause and effect in there. You can go and smash up stuff, destroy things, but it has no real lasting effect. Once you outrun the police, and you go back to that place you've slaughtered hundreds of people and blown things to pieces, there's nothing there. That's not the kind of game world that I really want to, um, to exist in, or to, well, to play in. Obviously, I don't want to exist in a game world. This is not Tron. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm always hoping that with GTA there will be a version of the game that fulfills my my desires of what the game really has the potential to be. Um, but maybe it's going to take somebody, some other game developer, to come out with something that's similar, along the same lines as GTA, but, 
much more believable, much more a much more usable environment. Um, that's what I'm hoping, but I'm still interested in what in what GTA will hold. I'm sure if it is no more than GTA 4 with a few bells and whistles in a different environment, it'll still be enjoyable and I will buy it. I just won't buy it on launch day. I'm not going to rush out to play GTA 4 Part 2. Um, but I will. I mean, I, GTA 4, I came to very late. I picked it up months after it came out. And I'll probably do that with this if it's not pushing that boundary, pushing the limits of of gameplay, not the hardware and the graphical capabilities. But people have come to expect a huge sandbox environment and on an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, it's just not going to work. Um, well, well, there we go. Those are my thoughts on GTA, I guess the series as a whole, but GTA 5 in there as well. So thanks for putting up the video. I know you didn't um, pose a tag, open tag response thing, but I'm hoping this is an acceptable thing to post as a response to your video, Dragon. And uh, to everyone else watching, this is Simon signing off. Bye-bye.